Now the Marxist left is once again using the same corrupt DOJ and the same corrupt FBI and the Attorney General and the local district attorneys to interfere in our elections at a level that our country and few countries have ever seen before. They're cheating, they're crooked, they're corrupt. These criminals cannot be rewarded. They must be defeated. You have to defeat them. You have to defeat them. Because in the end, they're not coming after me. They're coming after you. And I'm just standing in their way. Here I am. I'm standing in their way. And I always will be. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The ridiculous and baseless indictment of me by the Biden administration's weaponized Department of Injustice will go down as among the most horrific abuses of power in the history of our country. Many people have said that. Democrats have even said it. This vicious persecution is a travesty of justice. You're watching Joe Biden. Joe, I think of it. Biden is trying to jail his leading political opponent, an opponent that's beating him by a lot in the polls, just like they do in Stalinist Russia or communist China. No different. Our country has gone very bad. And think of it in three years. Three years ago, we were energy independent. We had no inflation. We had low taxes. We had low interest rates. We had the greatest economy in history. Think of it. And I could stand up here all day long and just talk about all of the great success we had. And now we have everything's the opposite. Inflation's killing our country. Energy is ridiculous and ridiculously high. We're getting energy from Venezuela. Nobody can even believe it. I never thought such a thing could happen to America. As far as the joke of an indictment, it's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing for this country. I mean, the only good thing about it is it's driven my poll numbers way up. Can you believe this? Way up. Now it's driven up way up. And uh, somebody said the fundraising is through the roof. That's less important. But I will tell you, it's really uh, driven us right through the sky. We're really winning big. We're winning by every. We're beating the hell out of the Republicans, and we're beating the hell out of Joe Biden. That's why they're doing it. If I wasn't, let me tell you, if I wasn't, there'd be no witch hunt. There'd be no indictment. If I was losing, we're winning by a lot against the Democrats. If I were losing, you know, they're the party of disinformation. They say, oh, oh, we want to run against Trump. We want to run so badly against Trump. We won the first time, and then we did better the second time than we did the first time. We won by many millions of more votes, much better, not even close. We got the most votes ever in the history of our country. And today, we're more popular than we were in 2020. We're going to get numbers that are absolutely incredible. Federal law enforcement should never have been involved in this matter, but they got involved. And we just can't let that happen. They got involved with Twitter. They got involved with Facebook. The pollsters say it made maybe a 17-point difference. And then they say, I lost. We didn't lose. We won by a lot. But they say I lost by 20,000 votes. 20,000 votes. You know, we'd come here for rallies. We'd come to other states for rallies. But we'd come into Georgia for a rally. We'd have 40, 50,000 people. They'd come in for a rally, they'd have eight. They couldn't fill up the circles. And then you hear, he clipped you at the end, just clipped you. Didn't happen. We won Alabama in a record number. We won South Carolina in a record number. Those people that run it, the professionals, say it's not possible to win Alabama in a record, South Carolina in a record, and lose Georgia just by a tiny little bit, you know? So you got to watch that. You got to watch it. We're all going to be watching it. As president, all of my documents fell under what is known as the Presidential Records Act, which is not at all a criminal act. Everything. It's all judged by the Presidential Records Act. 
In this whole fake indictment, they don't even once mention the Presidential Records Act, which is really the ruling act, which this case falls under 100 percent because they want to use something called the Espionage Act. Doesn't that sound terrible? Oh, espionage. We got a box. I got a box. The Espionage. The Espionage Act of 1917, I think it was put in there about World War I boxes. And by the way, Biden's got 1,850 boxes. He's got boxes in Chinatown, D.C. He's got boxes all over the place. He doesn't know what the hell to do with them. And he's fighting them on the boxes. He doesn't want to give the boxes. And then they say, Trump is obstructioning. He's obstructing. No, it's a sad, uh, sad day for the country. You know, I said, Last night, I said that uh, our country has tears because of what's happening. We have fake elections. We have no borders. We have inflation. We have everything. It's just going wrong. There's never been anything like it in the history of our country. We've never done like this. And the division is so bad because what they do is so bad. And our people are angry, and they just keep doing it. And sometimes you need strength. You have to have strength, more than just normal strength. And we have to get a change, because we're not going to have a country left. Remember, I used to campaign, and I'd say that uh, we're going to end up being Venezuela on steroids. And that's exactly what's happening to our country. Our country is going to hell.